um, welcome to day to day net. I have not done this in a little while. Um, if you're new, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. If you're a repeating viewer, then just thank you for sticking around and supporting me. Um, this is a new year, 2024. And I am a person that loves making lists and planning ahead. So I'm really into um, New Year's resolutions, goals, um, attempting to achieve something, uh, hopefully achieving something. And so I decided to make this video and I think this is my first video of 2024 or just New Year resolutions. Um, you might notice that my voice is different. That is because I am um, recovering from a virus and it might just take me a few weeks to go back to normal. Um, I have with me a tea that I got for Christmas from one of my Secret Santa things. I might have to edit some coughing out. Um, so it's called Cream of Earl Grey, the type of tea, it's black organic, and it's David's Tea, which is a Canadian brand. Where in Canada? I do not know. Montreal, Quebec. It says right here on the package. <clears throat> um, it's probably still too hot to drink. I filled it almost all the way up to the brim. Mm, yes, it's definitely too hot. <clears throat> but anyway, I have made a bunch of New Year's resolutions, some regarding knitting, some not. Oh, wait, I just realized my background, you might notice, is slightly different. And that is because my Sheep of Portugal poster is back. Uh, I got it back from the framers. Um, there was a problem with the paper and it had fallen, so it was like kind of crooked and out of the frame. Um, but it's fixed now. And the one that I have here is now in its original place, which is next to my other wedding um, artwork. Anyway, um, and it was a watercolor by Jane Olson, my friend and artist. And instead, she gave me a new one also this Christmas, and it's this one. And I think it's beautiful. Um, it really, the colors of it, it has these like older pinks and greens are really jiving with, with what I'm, I've been feeling this year. Um, and I guess probably into the next year, just like older tones, not necessarily super bright, but also not necessarily neutrals. Um, it's just what I'm feeling like right now. And there it is, I think it fits well. Um, anyway, back to the resolutions. Last year on Ravelry, I wrote that I was going to do eight projects. I was thinking I'm gonna focus on sweaters. Each sweater is probably going to take more than a month, especially if I go into fingerings or longer knits, like just longer sweaters. And in terms of FLs, I ended up with 20. So I was very generous to myself, uh, not to put a lot on myself at the beginning of the year, but clearly I can do way more than um, eight projects. So this time, first resolution is knitting 12 projects this year, one a month. And that is like the minimum. Um, just something to aspire to. Of course, if I just go into a funk, I'm not going to force myself to knit. And I feel like this gives me enough that I can do sweaters, just longer projects in general, but also shorter ones. Like I got really into hats at the end of last year. 
and I also did what else did I did did I do I did um, another Miss Marple scarf so you know all those count and all those add up um, but now I know I can I can do more than eight and still get larger projects then so I upped to 12 I think that's enough I don't think I need to do more than 12 things if I do more than 12 things great um, but this is enough and I feel like it's achievable so that's one this should be fairly easy for me we'll see number two photograph more I have been slacking on photos of both yarn and finished projects um, for both my Instagram and my Ravelry. So when I go back and I want to see, just I want to easily recognize a project, I can't because I don't have pictures of it. Now, some things I have given away before I have taken pictures, so there's no fixing that. But in the future, I would like to be more proactive with those things. Sometimes <clears throat> I just postpone uh, thinking, okay, well, it's nighttime, can't do it right now. I'll wait till the weekend and the weekend gets busy and I just never get it done. And in the meantime, I should have taken a photo in the summer and it is now winter and I'm not going to go outside with a t-shirt on. So, you know, I just need to like, get things done when they need to get done instead of postponing. Plus it takes no time. I just have to do it. <laughs> uh, yes. So also something that also relates to that, to going back and seeing what I've done before is I don't think I have ever written down modifications to patterns. I just wing it. Uh, I am knitting and I want to keep on knitting so I don't pause, pull out my laptop and right now write down what I just did. But uh, at the end of this year, I started knitting a couple socks and I realized I did not write down anything related to those except um, for one of them, I wrote down a chart. So now I have to do the second sock and I have no information on how I started the first sock. So I've decided that I just need to write things down. I just need to stop what I'm doing and go back and just write it because otherwise I will never be able to replicate the same thing again now i'm totally fine with just winging it but it, but if if it's not doing a sweat one sweater and then another sweater later on where they don't need to be exactly the same then i'm in trouble because the socks will not be the same they will not feel the same uh and that is just plain silly. <laughs> I just need to get that done. <laughs> and speaking of sweaters, this is resolution number four. Yes, number four. I love sweaters, like closed sweaters, pullovers, jumpers. But I also need other things that are not sweaters sometimes a sweater is just too hot um so sometimes the sweater is just too hot the heating is on or i've started walking and i need to take it off but then if i take it off i'm too cold so i have decided that i need to knit more cardigans i started doing this last year and um I started doing that by knitting two cardigans, but I have not finished them yet. You might remember them. They are the Xiao Mai, which is from the book um, Neutrals and Neons. Neons and Neutrals, that's what it's called. Neons and Neutrals. I think it's by Layla Young, but I could be wrong. And 
it is like the super beautiful long super wash unfortunately so it's very heavy um cardigan very loose and um i i have not finished it because i just i had other things that the, i wanted to get done uh, by the end of the year plus i needed to make the modifications that i wanted to because once again i modify lots of patterns basically i just wanted longer sleeves because it is such a heavy a thick cardigan that i i don't think it makes any sense to wear it with sleeves down to the elbow um, i want to make it proper long sleeves so i haven't finished that because i needed the yarn for that i needed to just buy more yarn because I, I bought enough to make the project as it is written in the book but I did not have enough to just make the modifications that I wanted and each one of those skeins is like expensive it's over $30 so there's that the other one and this is the one that I don't always get the name right is the Bohemian Mosaic Cardigan maybe I don't know but it's this beautiful um, cardigan with like I'm where I'm using real wool not super wash um, but I'm hating the needles so I just put it on hold and I focus on other things so that will be like a late January probably um, maybe February project and then just has color work at the bottom and on the sleeves but besides those two I want to knit more cardigans um, I want to knit lots of cardigans because the I have I have other cardigans I have uh, store-bought cardigans I might have a couple that I got from my mom that she doesn't wear anymore because we do that a lot whatever she doesn't wear anymore if it fits me then it usually goes to me unless I really don't like it but we have somewhat similar styles so but the cardigans i do have that are commercially made they the arms are too tight on me i think in almost all of them the arms are too tight or they have maybe something special that maybe it's just harder to wash and therefore i don't wear them as much because that it's just something weird to wash so i have enough yarn to make i think at least one more cardigan maybe two more so maybe i'll end up next year with four cardigans we'll see um next is also on this thing of not knitting pullovers slash jumpers is i'd like to knit more vests i have <laughs> whenever i like the a yarn that I just love it and I just have to have it I go to my Ravelry and I look for a, usually a sweater or something then I realize oh no this is too expensive for a sweater I'll get enough for a vest so I have like three or four options right now maybe maybe five but I, I think for sure three possibly four yarn options in my stash two knit vests I learned that I really really like vests I had never worn them before I started knitting just like shawls it wasn't really I didn't think it was like cool or whatever but oh I just love them right now and oftentimes I'm like I wish I had a vest it would be so much better if I had a vest if I didn't have sleeves and I could wear this over like a blouse button down shirt but I don't because I made one and then I shrunk it and now I have no vests so something in the future more vests and I have one in mind from yarn that I just got the, on this trip that I'll talk about more possibly next episode um, when I show my acquisitions which are a lot 
because it's the holidays and I was traveling. So there, more vests. Um, number six, and this should be easy, if I just have some self-control. <laughs> And that is decreasing my stash by at least 20 skeins. Now, you might think, didn't you do that already this year? Didn't you already knit with more than 20 skeins? I mean, that sounds pretty easy if you're knitting that many projects. And once you look at the next video that I'm doing, where I'm going to talk about all the new yarns, you'll realize that going down by 20 when I have lots and I get them as presents or I buy them on when I go on vacation becomes harder because I keep I use them I use my stash and then I just get some more uh, either because I do it or because other people give to me but um, <clears throat> I, I just realized at the end of this year I might I haven't done the math yet but I might have ended up at the end of the year with more yarn than what I started with, which is ridiculous when my goal is to decrease. <laughs> um, I'm going to really try to focus on that this year. I really am. And you, you might think, oh, like, what's the purpose of imposing goals on yourself? Um, forbidding yourself to do things or buy things. In this case, of course, many because yarn can be expensive, but also I just like to challenge myself um, and just am proud of myself for accomplishing things. And this is something that is, um, I guess, in a way about self-improvement because I have beautiful yarns. I don't need to buy more yarn. I have yarns that I love that have the materials that I like and I just don't need more. I just don't. So it's really a favor to myself and to my family to not get more yarn. So anyway, there's that. Then this is number seven. I am going to knit my first brioche project. It will be a hat. I've talked about it before. Um, it's just, I have, at the beginning, I would, with every project, try to um, improve myself and my knitting skills by learning a new technique. Now I'm at the point where it's just harder to do that because um, I know lace, I know how to read charts, I know cables, I can read cables finally. Um, I've done different, all sorts of different constructions. I've done sticking, but something that's somewhat common in projects that I like is brioche. So I'm going to try out that, just learn that with one simple project. And then I'll see, I might like it, I might not. So I'll see if I need more brioche in the future, but at least I'll be able to make a decision on that knowing that I am able to do it if I wanted to. So, and then finally for knitting related goals for the new year, I went to knit a double or triple, although I don't know how I would accomplish that, um, layer hat, double layer hat or triple layer hat. That means that you have two layers of knitting fabric around your head. Not just the brand, but two layers all around. And that is just, I would like a warmer hat for like real, either really windy days or really cold, cold weather. Like something I could take to the snow if I was going on a snowy trip. And that is it as far as knitting goals are concerned. Now, I have other goals for things that are not knitting related. Um, I want to run or walk to the gym every week. I want to walk to work once a week every week. 
I like to cycle to work also once a week every week just so I do, do different types of um, mobility related things <clears throat> I am taking five classes next year so ideally I would pass them all should not be too hard um, uh, do one long walk a week I need to improve my HDL cholesterol levels and that's one way of doing it it's just exercising in a way to um, like fast walking or running that sort of exercise that is cardio related are just good for that so that's one of the things I'm wanting to do then um, also to improve my health I would like to decrease the fast absorption sugar intake I had my blood tested um, last week or no the week before that no last week well for you it will be the week before last week so I just have all these things that I can improve just for my health um, that I should really improve for my health um, so it's not because I want to get thinner or something like that it's just my body just needs these things so decrease that um, and stop taking seconds um, because I end up just overindulging and that's also not going to help and that's it um, you can tell by my goals that some are just to improve my health really half of them are to improve my health and the other half are just fun learning new things um, and challenging myself um, some are easy to attain some are harder um, and that's okay like i don't want to just have things that are easy but i also don't want things that are too hard because then I'll just, I'll be down, I'll feel like I failed or something um, if I don't get stuff then, if I am not able to fulfill my goals. So this way I know that I'll be able to do some. I know that some um, are related to each other, so by doing one maybe I can do the next one very easily. And yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I have fun with these things. Um, <clears throat> if you do too, that's great. If you don't care about goals or you just choose not to do those, then, you know, don't have to, don't feel like you have to. And that's it. I will hopefully be back next week or maybe in two weeks um, to talk about the things that I have finished in, in the meantime, um, whips, and all the ridiculous amounts of yarn so anyway thank you for sticking around uh, even though I have had to cut this video several times now and my voice is all weird um, yeah so thank you I appreciate you don't forget to comment subscribe and like this video share it with your friends too bye